What's up, Hello Sword? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install a brand new M2 SSD card into your PlayStation 5 so you can get more memory. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need yourself a Phillips screwdriver. You're going to need your new card. I'm using a 990 Pro and make sure it does have that heat sink. And I'm installing a two uh, terabyte. I have a soft rag. I have the controller. And then we have obviously the PS5. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make some room. Uh, I'm going to be using this rubber mat and you want to make sure that you take out any uh, static that you might have. So just tuck something metal just to kind of give yourself a little shock if needed. Um, I'm, I'm good. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this PlayStation around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little logo and we're going to turn it. And what I'm going to do is when I lay this down, I want the power button to be the opposite side of where I am. So I want the back of it. All you're going to do is you're going to take your right hand and you're going to prop this up. This hand is not going to lift. It's going to slide. So pop up, slide. So it's a pop and a slide. And that comes off just like that. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this back around and we're gonna go ahead and unscrew the area that we're gonna be inserting the new card into. So again, I'm just using a Samsung 990 uh, Pro with the heat sink. And so this is what it looks like, heavier than you might think. All right, so once you have it out, what you're going to need to do is take that screwdriver one more time. And there is a tiny little screw right in this little green area. You can kind of see it right here. That is going to be what we use to lock this into place. So I'm going to go ahead and unscrew that because they all come in different sizes, depending upon, you know, how much memory you're installing or what brand you have. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is you're going to take the data card and you're going to, if you look here, you can kind of see there's a little split. You want to make sure it's going into the system this way at kind of like a little bit of an angle. And once it feels like you're in there, you're going to let it go down and you just press it in. And then you'll notice that once it's in, you can see that I'm going to re-screw right in here. And now it's locked in to place. And then we'll go ahead and put the protective cover back over it, screw that back in. What I would recommend as well, as you have this open, if you haven't opened it, uh, just kind of give it a little dry rub, just to kind of get any of the dust or debris out of there, since you already have it open. Right, we're gonna turn it back around, and then to insert this back, we're gonna just insert it into those little spots, and you're going to just kind of push, and you'll hear a click. And there's the click. All right, so we got it back together. What we're gonna do is just kind of wipe the rest of it off. All right, so we got it all set up. So what we'll do is we'll plug this back in and I'll show you over on the TV how to actually go and set up that new card. As soon as you turn your PlayStation back on, it will ask you to go ahead and format the card. All right, so now we're here on to the main screen. After it was formatted, we're gonna go over to the settings we're going to go ahead and go down to storage and you'll see here that we now have the regular PlayStation 5 storage as well as the SSD card. So what I'm going to do for an example is I'm going to go ahead and move three different items to the new card. So I will take Hogwarts Legacy, I will take Lego Star Wars and I'll take the Harry Potter Lego as well. And we're going to go ahead and move this to the brand new card. And then voila, you'll see here that we now have um, data in both of our cards. And here we go. There are the three that I moved. All right, guys. So smash that like button if this video helped you out. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to keep those heads on. And I will see you guys in the next one.